Hello. In this video, I would like to show you how to create uh, with Motion 5 a travel map similar to the one that can be natively generated by iMovies plugin. We have already set up our motion project as broadcast uh, HD720 and frame rate and the duration set to 5 seconds. So let's click open. And uh, here is the empty project. Let's rename the group. And uh, then we need an image of the earth. And I'll be using the blue marble before importing it uh, through the file browser. Let's make sure that our dynamic guides are active. And then let's zoom to 50% as the image is rather big as 8,000 pixels times 4,000. Let's drag it and align it using the dynamics guide. And here is the image. Now we'll be simulating a air trip from Paris to Miami. So this is in the central area of the map. Therefore we can enlarge it a bit and also to get rid of yeah, the black borders surrounding it. So we keep the shift and alt pressed and we drag it to enlarge it. Fit the window and here's our map. Okay, at this point we are ready to add starting point and ending point and we said we are going to from Paris which is roughly here to Miami which is roughly here. So let's uh, first zoom in into the Paris area pressing the Z to quickly switch and you see that the map gets a little pixelated, but this will not be a problem in the final product. Before we add the starting and ending point of the trip, let's create a new group. And it's correctly on top, we call it travel path. And then let's grab the circle tool. Moving to the inspector to see where we are. Let's add it. So Paris, say roughly here, and we can always check on Google Maps. So we keep the shift pressed so that it's a round circle. And then we let it go. Again, this is uh, appearing very pixelated, but don't worry. Now with the shape selected, we give it a white outline as well. We already have a red fill in there. And down here we select under fill. And you see the white, it doesn't look that nice in the preview at the moment. It looks definitely nice here in the vector preview. Make it a bit larger, a bit too large because the dynamic guide interfered. Okay, right about here. And we'll call this Paris. And then let's duplicate it. And this will be Miami. And obviously we have to move it later. Let's put it here for the moment. And then let's add the name of the departure city. We have a nice huge font. 
Got it. Closer, then we can see. Yes, it's not perish. Obviously, that we want to write that there is. So let's correct that. And I will also say that we need it to be slightly smaller. So let's go to. Yeah, let's see. 24. It's good. Okay, let's reposition it. About here. Okay, now let's move to the destination, which we see here. By the way, at this zoom, we see both. Now let's move destination circle all the way where it belongs to. So my aim is well here. Let's also duplicate Paris. Calling this. Guess what? Miami. And obviously the name has not changed. So the writing has not changed, only the name has changed. We position it above here. And now with the text tool or down here as well, we can change it to Miami. Okay, it needs to be moved as well. And here we go. Okay, so this is looks like at the moment. And obviously we are missing the travel path uh, from one to the other. Now there are many ways we can do that. A uh, very easy way is to use a Bezier curve and actually a straight line. So we pick the Bezier tool and then we click once on Paris and once on Miami, right in the middle, and then we press enter to complete the path. And you will notice that uh, uh, we have both the fill and outline. Now, if we want to make the path a little bigger, we can do it. And then we can also choose a different fill color. For example, the black in this case, but it won't show up because the field is too wide, uh, sorry, the outline is too wide, so it will not show up. So what we should do actually is turn the field off, because actually we don't need it, and also make sure that, and let's zoom in to do that, make sure that we are using the same color as we are. for the starting end dots. Switch back to that, uh, uh, to the busy. Actually, we wanted to edit points. So let's do that. And let's make sure that we are properly centered for here the start, but also at the destination. Actually, vice versa. We did already the destination, now we are tweaking the start. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and I think uh, we have it. Okay, now. Next step will be to animate the travel path so that it throws itself and appears from Paris to Miami. And the uh, easiest way to do it with the Bezier curve is by using the first and last point offset. For doing that, let's quickly look at geometry, making sure that this is not checked, by the way. Otherwise, it will not look nice. And we can already see where at the beginning of the movie that if we 
pull this back. Now we are in Paris, and then so we go from zero to hundred percent. We get to Miami. Okay, so this is very easy to achieve. We just go back to zero, keyframe it, and then we move at the end of the animation, which at the moment lasts five seconds total as the duration of the movie, but let's make it last maybe three seconds. And by bringing this to 100, and other keyframe is automatically added. And now let's see how it looks like. Click on the project, so all the enders are disappearing, and play. Yeah, nice and clean. Okay, small enhancements that we can add once uh, this is done. Um, if you know that in iMovie, when the travel pass reaches the destination, there's a kind of highlight effect uh, below the destination dot, like a highlight, like a, you know, looks like an explosion. So we can add that one as well. And uh, let's do the destination. And let's make sure that we are. Yeah, so here is where it touches it. And here we should have actually even a bit earlier. This is about to get there. Here we should have our explosion. So let's add a circle. Pressing the shift key. And obviously it comes out red. But we want it to be white. And we want it to have what do we know that dark? Maybe that's the let's try a thirty five percent. Okay, at the moment it's also on top and actually we want it to be below the destination. So let's call this I want and let's bring it below the Miami circle. Okay, now also this below the city. So it uh, will appear anyway below. We can make it big, larger if we want. Uh, still centered. And yeah, we can also give it a bit of fall off if needed. Oh, it doesn't help much. Let's leave it without fall off. Uh, but actually, definitely, we want it to appear and then uh, disappear. So what we could do is, uh, well, there are many ways of doing that. We could, uh, for example, we could uh, um, frame it scale. Uh, that would be way to do it. So let's uh, yeah, bring the scale down until it disappears below. And then let's keyframe the scale. And let's move. Maybe we move. Three, five frames after. And we bring the scale up so that the highlight, boom. And then we move on the keyframes and we make it disappear again. Boom. Okay. So we want to make it even. We can bring it one back. And then let's see how the Arrival looks like, boom. Okay. Feeding window, let's see overall. Let's click on the project and let's see how it looks like. 
me out there. We have to go first to the beginning. Click. Um, nice and clean. Another thing that we could do to enhance it is to add, for example, some ease to the Bezier. So let's go to the keyframe editor. And as we click on the Bezier, we know that at the moment it's purely linear. So we could go here and choose interpolation Bezier. This way there will be an acceleration at the beginning and then stable speed and then an acceleration as it gets close to the destination. So let's see how this works. Slow, fast, and slow, boom. Yep, yeah, very nice. Actually, I would anticipate a bit the moment in which the circle appears. And by the way, I might even limit its duration because after this point it has, it has anyway disappeared below. And let's look at it again. Slow, fast, slow, boom. Okay, other announcements that we could do, for example, is to, well, we could add a plane, so an airplane shape. Uh, we could go closer to how iMovie does it by adding a dot. And uh, yeah, we could even you know, bend this into a sphere to simulate actually a trip on a round earth. We'll cover this uh, in the next video.